Alrighty, so this is kind of big. I found, or I saw a video published by someone, I'll link to a video to it in the description, where they opened up the dungeon chests early. Um, and I have actually didn't think of how to apply this, uh, the way that it works. Um, I did not think about applying it in this way. I, I don't know how, why it hasn't come across to me yet, but what I have found is a way to open up the dungeon chest earlier. As you can tell, I got a bunch of duplicated ice chests, normally not possible in open world, and I also got the Staff of the Frost Hydra early. And so this process, I've just set it up as well, up here with a locked chest. I do not have a gold key with me. Um, and I'm going to come back to this and see if it works in a little bit. So we can do a little bit of a live reveal of seeing if this will work. And see if there's anything else that could possibly happen. But I believe I have also set up... Oh, oops. Uh, later in this dungeon, I have set up another uh, mechanism. This one right here, there's not enough room. Um... This dungeon is really is is a is a really big mess. So I'll probably I'll probably just I might I might cut this stuff out. Although I liked for my um uh, second channel videos to be uncut because it's just nicer. I believe I set it up over here. Ah, here it is. Okay, yeah, I have a, I have a floating, uh, trap door. Okay, I, I forgot. I need to set set this up. So we'll I'll le I'll relog in a second and set this up. But at least now you can see the setup now for for this glitch. Uh, here, let me double check something. Oops. Oops. So oh, yeah, definitely gonna need to remove those. Get that out of here. Uh, I have tall gates. Alright, I can put a block right up here. You don't. You can use pre hard mode blocks. This I just have. This is the only blocks I happen to have on hand. Alrighty. Um. And uh. Oh, where? Okay. Here. Um. I need to place an item frame here. I need to get a sand block here, and then you can use other um sprites. Uh, you can use like. A tiki torch, a tiki torch would also work right here, but you just need to break the block farthest away from the sand, and then you'll get an invisible trapdoor, and then you can place a bar, and then a mannequin on top. All that stuff can be acquired in pre-hard mode. Um, three blocks above, you know, one, two, three, as you can see up here. Um, here I can actually follow the ruler. Yeah, as you can see, one, two, three. Uh, three blocks above is where you're going to want to put your trapdoor. And then once you have this, you're just going to want to relog. And I'm right clicking. I cannot have the key. You see my inventory. So I'm going to relog and head back to uh, the dungeon. Yes. And then once I head back to the dungeon. I will... Um, I will, uh, or we will see that the mannequin, or the trap door is back in. And then we can do the big reveal and see if it works. I tested, I, I just tested it earlier. We'll see that. I, we'll see, uh, we'll see the one, we'll see the ice chest that I tested. Um, I left some items and stuff in there. What the heck? Why did I not regain any flight? Anyway. Alrighty, the dungeon should be right here. Zoom in a little bit. So we can see. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is the ice chest I've tested. Um, oh yeah, all that, all that data and stuff is gone. Um, unfortunately. But we got another ice chest. I'll just place that in here. Um, we got another ice chest. 
That's the ice chest I tested. Now if we come down here. Let's let's see that lock chest that we tested. Okay, let me let me put a solid block down. Uh that's the height of the tall gate. Uh okay. Now all that's left to do is to walk up against the side, like up against uh, this block right here. Um, and, oh, I gotta open this up. Yeah, walk up against the side. Yep, I don't have a key. If I'd accidentally opened it, I would've been upset. Let's see what happens. Okay, so you just get regular um, golden chest. Darn, I thought you'd get the golden uh, lock chest item. That's unfortunate, but, uh, you see how there's like a red thing right here? If I tried to place something like there, it wouldn't work. But if I place a chest down and open it up, you can see that we opened up the gold chest without a key. I mean, you, so if it works on this locked chest, I assume it's also going to work on a locked shadow chest. So you do not need a shadow key either. Um, this is very useful because this means that you don't have to go to the dungeon in order to get... Um, you don't have to go to the dungeon in order to get, uh, I guess, in order to get a shadow key so you can get items out of shadow chest if you're trying to go for that. You might as well just come to the dungeon anyway and just grab, like, vampire knives or something. I haven't been able to look at the crimson chest yet, but if it would summon this guy. Hello there. Hello, friend. Alrighty. We're gonna leave him, though. Get this golden key out of here. We don't need that. Yeah, this jungle chest is just not enough room. Uh, you could manually set up, like, more of the tall gate destroyers. I'll link a video to that. Um, you could just set up those, like, over and over and over again if you really wanted to, like, carve out the area or whatever. But until that, and until something else is found, that's, like, we can only... It's completely up to chance whether or not you can do this. So, uh, ow. Hopefully there will be a, like, a more efficient method. Because um, all you have to do is um, break the physical objects of the, like, physical blocks of the chest. And then the, but the, because there's items in that chest, that data doesn't get cleared. Because the game's like, ah, I need to keep this chest entity alive because there's items in here. That's very mm -hmm. important. So, yeah, the game is very, doesn't want to, um, like, remove I guess remove the data from the chest because like if some other glitch occurs and the chest accidentally gets destroyed physically the data will still be there and like the chest the game usually uh, recuperates by placing the chest back and it usually uh fixes itself yep i don't have a key uh let's place in a tall gate can just get on this side open it and close it and then I can just walk up against this block. Come on. Ah, I don't need to place them. There. Walk up against this block. And as you can see, we got, got uh, three desert chests. And you know what? I'm just going to place an ice chest. Or uh, We got some desert chests. I'll just place a golden chest in its spot. There's no placement sound. I don't know if you could hear that or not. But boom. We got, we got the tiger staff. Nice. So, oh, well, hello, friend. He just went zooming. Anyway, so, yeah, that's how you open up this stuff earlier. I was inspired by some video I saw where they, like, they basically lag the server in order to, like, create that, that ominous void that happens whenever your game crashes, but, like, you don't get kicked. Like, it basically it doesn't load in any more, it doesn't load in any more blocks, and so then it just, like... It doesn't load in any more blocks, and so it just, uh, it doesn't load in any more blocks, and so what they did is that you can still place blocks, like, in that void, which, uh, is useful because you can, like, it, that takes priority over other blocks, and so when the server catches back up, um, when the server catches back up, you can, um, 
when the server catches back up, you can go down there and realize there's, um, and, like, find, uh, a bunch of duplicated chests, and then, like, just, and just do the same thing I did, just place a different chest on top of it that you can open, and then you can take the item out, so, yeah, I'll link that video in the description, uh, so, yeah, this video's been quite long, but I'm, I'm just gonna leave this one unedited, because I, yet again, it's, like, I, I might not even put timestamps, because I really don't care, I just wanna, like, I'll, I'll make, like, this video here, um, just a small, small little video, and then if I find anything else new, then I'll make, like, a big, I'll make a, like, a, a bigger video on my main channel, because this is a huge glitch that would be insanely helpful in speedrunning, um, especially, like, any percent stuff, because having these weapons extremely early will just make your life, like, that much easier, so, so, yeah. <laughs> the Terra Prism is unfortunately better than the than the uh, Tiger Staff, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, the Staff of the Frost Hives are really good. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's that's like that's really all I wanted to show. Uh, unfortunately, you don't get lock chest items because I'm trying to get unobtainable stuff, but haven't really had any luck yet, really. So with that so hopefully I'll uh hopefully I'll find something like that along those lines that'd be very very fun very cool so yeah that's it that's all I want to say